Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM and if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel at the moment how about giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to the channel to help us grow and perhaps even check out our Patreon. Today you join me on board the Mini as I head towards the Stapfold Barn Railway for their big end of season show road, rail, and ale. But first, coming up on the 1st of October, it's the Foxwood Railway's autumn vintage and classic vehicle rally. And I appear to be here at the wrong time. Maybe I'm early, maybe I'm late. However, on the actual event, there is a wide variety of vehicles ranging from lorries to cars to motorbikes. A veritable feast for the eyes for all of you who enjoy classic vehicles. There's no need to book and then it's only £2 and that gives you access to everything on site, although train tickets are extra. So come along, bring your vehicle and enjoy a good day out with other classic vehicles here at the Foxfield Railway. And remember, for exclusive news, events and early access to tickets, follow the link in the video description and sign up to the Foxfield Railway's newsletter. And remember, click the little box that says found by LMM to let them know you found it through me. And that will keep our wonderful relationship going well. And that means I can keep bringing you exclusive news, events and competitions working with the railway. That sounds pretty good really, doesn't it? And back to the video. You may notice that this is not the Statfold Barn Railway. And that's because my friends over at the Ampton Railway were having their own event. So on my way, I decided to call in and see what they were up to. And as part of this, they had almost everything from their operational home fleet out and about running a variety of trains. In fact, they had so many locomotives running so many trains that they were actually a little bit short for crews. So when I turned up, they asked if I could help out for a morning and operate the industrial section, locked off from the rest of the railway and bash some wagons about. Obviously, I didn't say no. Soon it was lunchtime, and that meant it was time for the crew change, and I was relieved of my duty. So I bid farewell to my friends at the Amerton Railway and headed back to the Mini, and put my foot down to head on to the Statford Barn Railway. And unusually today, I wasn't going inside the roundhouse. No, the things I wanted to see were outside. You 
You see, away from the roundhouse, outside in the field, was a number of visiting steam engines. A vast number of different makers and different types of engines were represented, from your agricultural traction engines to steam rollers themselves. And of course, it wasn't long before I was recognised. Am I going to be on YouTube? Yeah, sorry. I'll look out for myself. And if you're wondering what that buzzing noise was in the background, it was this, a saw bench, being powered by a traction engine. This was an incredible thing to watch in operation, with a sheer amount of power on that blade being driven by steam. And of course, this wasn't the only steam engine in attendance, so I went for a walk to have a look at some of the others. And whilst I was excited to be surrounded by engines, there were a few that really caught my attention, like this one, which was sold in nearby Stowe Market. There are also a few portables out, which I'm always excited to see. They can't move on their own, but they're just so beautiful and graceful to watch. Excitingly, there was also a steamroller out repairing some of the roads around the site, and I thought that was particularly awesome. With steam engines and traction engines, as well as the full size engines, there was a good collection of their smaller brethren there as well. And one of them was being driven by someone I know. How are you, sir? I'm about to be bored here. Oh, God. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's not got as well as I thought it was going to go. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I feel a. This is a bad move, and I'm slightly uncomfortable. Having safely dismounted, we're in time to see some of the owners testing out just what their miniature engines would do, by seeing just what they could haul with the winch. Following the excitement of that, the engines started to move themselves over to the roadway for the main event.
And with all the engines lined up, the main event, the whistle off, could begin. content with the amount of noise they'd made, they decided to do it all again. With the noisy bit over and done with for another year, the engines made their way back into the field to park up back on display.
Although it wasn't just steam engines in attendance, this was road, rail and ale, so there was a good selection of trucks and classic cars on show. So I went for a little nosy around all of them. My nan had one of these, and I want one. I have one of these, and I have one of them as well. Ish. And despite all the shiny cars, my attention was now elsewhere, as my friends at the Riverside Miniature Railway offered me a go on their Class 37. And frankly, that was me for the rest of the day. I was too distracted to do any more filming, so that brings us to the end of this video looking at Statfold Barn Railway's Road, Rail and Ale, with a quick look at the Amerton Railway in the start. So with that, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And how about clicking up there on the screen now for one of the events we've done at Statfold and for a review that we did at the Amerton Railway on one of their Rustons. Thanks for watching, guys. And of course, we'll see you next time.